welcome back to Mom Life with the Boys. Um, so today I'm actually making some jalapeno poppers. Um, they're, they're actually for my husband's work because they're having a potluck tomorrow. So I thought what an incredible opportunity to share this recipe with you because it's something we like to make a lot. Um, and sometimes we grill them, sometimes we bake them in the oven, and sometimes I put them in the air fryer. So in this video I will show you how to do it in the air fryer in the oven. So that's what that is. So. I'm actually making like, I'm actually making a massive amount because like I said, it's for my husband's office. So um, don't go by the measurements and stuff that I show you. I'll actually post a recipe in the description below. That way you have the directions and ingredients for just like a normal amount, not 50. Unless you want to make 50, but they are delicious. Currently I am just preheating my cast iron pan because I'm going to cook up a package of bacon. Remember I said this is for a whole bunch of them so you don't necessarily need to do this much. But I'm doing a whole package of bacon. So I'm going to cook it and we're working on the stuffing or the filling for the jalapeno poppers first. And so yeah. Um, when I cook the bacon for the filling I try to make it as crispy as possible because you are going to be mixing it in with cream cheese and stuff. So you don't want it to be soggy because you want to have that nice little crunch. While our bacon is cooking, I'll go ahead and show you how to get the rest of the filling mixed together. Um, it's really simple, but it'll probably help if I had the ingredients out. So I'm going to grab those. And we're back. Um, okay. So the filling mixture, hi guys. The filling mixture is pretty simple really. It's the bacon that we're cooking right now and, and after that gets crispy, I'm going to crumble it up into little pieces. Cream cheese, lots of cream cheese, diced pimentos, um, garlic powder, Tabasco sauce, and cheddar cheese. Really simple, but really good. One time, we even made them in our smoker. Amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the filling together while the bacon's cooking and then let that cool and crumble it up and put it in here afterwards. This is the first time I'm really cooking anything for my husband's work at this location. So I have to make sure that it's good. Anyways, here goes nothing. Um, cream cheese is going in the pot, or the bowl, excuse me. Um, and since I'm making about 50 of them today, I've got four blocks of cream cheese. So my helper isn't feeling so helpful at the moment, but I have my other helpers. Hi! Hi. Say hello. Mm. Can you say hi? Mm. Can you wave? Say hi. Mm. All right. Blocking oven. The kids are happy for the moment. Bacon is almost there. So I've got my cream cheese in this bowl, mixing bowl, and then pimentos. The canned pimentos that I have, I've got them draining in the sink because I don't want all the juice. So they're ready to go. I'm just gonna dump those in. There we go. I've got my cheddar cheese. And a baby climbing the sink again. That's why I keep looking down. Can't hold still. So it looks like I'm not measuring, but I've made this a lot of times, so I kind of know what I'm looking for. But like I said, the recipe will be in the description, so you will not be questioning what to do. So, throwing the cheese in there. Like it's going out of style to be love cheese. Oh, God. I don't know if you can see this. Hold on. This is what I'm dealing with right now. Little baby fingers. They can't help themselves. They can't help themselves. Yeah, they can't help themselves. Can you? Cheese, tomatoes, and cream cheese are all in there. Hi. 
I'm gonna add our garlic powder. Again, I'm eyeballing, but I will provide you with the info. And then, the part that kind of makes it all is the Tabasco. So just, that one you can do to your liking, because if you like it really spicy, by all means, add a bunch. If you don't, I would definitely lessen it. But luckily, the good thing about the filling is it's not anything that's not cooked in it. So you can mix it and then taste it as you go and decide if you want to make it spicier or if it's good to go or if you think you need, it needs something else. Whatever the case may be, you can alter it as you go because it's all cooked items. Our bowl is filled with all the ingredients of the filling except the bacon. But I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing it anyways because the cream cheese takes a little while to kind of soften and get it to mix up. So let's do that. My bacon is done and cooled off. So I'm just gonna chop it up into little pieces and throw it in my filling mix. And that's it. That's all there is to the filling. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. You can do big chunks, but I want this to go as far as it possibly can, so I'm gonna chop it up into like tiny little pieces. That is totally your call. While I am cooking, the kids are over here with their snack -a -lean. What are you guys eating? Cheerios. Cheerios? You guys have a pretty big mess back there. Oh Lord. Say a prayer for me. And then this one. Just trying to get up on the counter. No, no. Owen, you can't do that. I know you have your bucket. You can't climb up there. You can't do it. You'll hurt yourself. Yeah. All right, back to it. Next step up, jalapenos. But first, I'll address, yes. New day, new outfit. This video took place over two weeks because, as I told you before, the poppers were for or are for my husband's potluck at work. Um, they got canceled last week, so all those poppers I prepped and everything, we just had to eat them over the weekend because they weren't going to be nice and fresh for this week. So it's a whole new week. We're doing it again. But anyways, here's the jalapenos. Um, my pro tip is to put on gloves because I have gotten jalapeno burn before on my hands and let me tell you that is uncomfortable and it lasts a long time um the first time it happened to me I was like what is this because that never happened but it sucks so I'm going to take the jalapenos slice them in half take out the seeds and load them up in this pan and then all we have to do after that is stuff them so let's do this. So I've got my jalapenos all prepped. They're all cut in half. The ends were cut off and I defeated them. <clears throat> all right. And then I've got my filling. And yes, I did remake the filling. It's not the same stuff from last week. Um, so now I'm just gonna stuff them and lay them in the pan and I will go from there. Um, I try to stuff them as much as I possibly can because you want a lot of flavor in it and everything. So just take your spoon, take your jalapeno half. And the good thing about the gloves is you can kind of smush it into there and really get it stuffed well without even getting messy. I love gloves for the kitchen. It's honestly the best, especially because of the kids, so if I need to like go help them with something quickly, I don't have to waste time washing my hands and everything. I can slip off the gloves real quick, go help them, and then get back to it. Just grab a new set of gloves. So, I don't know, just one of my mom hacks, but you can do whatever you'd like. I'm gonna get all these stuffed. So our jalapenos are all stuffed now. Ta-da! So I am going to leave them in this until I'm ready to bake them. 
Um, so for his work tomorrow, I'm just gonna bake them in the morning. Um, but I will show you that as well. So they're not gonna be baked like this. I'm going to spread them out on a big sheet pan. That way they are all separated and they don't cook into each other and they'll get nice and crispy and brown. And they're delicious. I've got my jalapeno poppers on a sheet pan with foil. I've got the oven preheated to 400 and now they're going to bake for about 20 minutes. Can't wait to eat them. Thanks for watching. We got lucky. The kids let me cook today and no real interruptions, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, that's how I make my jalapeno poppers. No breading, easy, baked, air fried, whatever you want, but they're really, really good. And I hope you enjoy them. Happy cooking until next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you love the recipe. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share everywhere you can.